Okay, so today we are going to do uh, a little experiment to see um, how well or what will one of, what one of these uh, containers will uh, store the ionized water the best. And I've lined it up from left to right of what I think is the best. So based on past experiments, so from the left, I think that's one, the left one, the very very left. I think is the gonna store the ionized water the best. The very very right, I think, is going to store it the least best. We'll see how well I lined them up. Um, but I'm just going to video of uh, filling these up beforehand um, and I also want to test the water before so we have a so I'm going to turn this on and turn the ionizer on to a nice flow put it on level 3 and at a nice flow rate I think that's pretty good I'm just going to fill up this cup and I'm going to keep it on at the same flow rate so, and fill, the, fill all the bottles up, but I'm going to test this one first with our pH over P meters to see um, what it's at here. pH and a negative. Uh, we'll wait until it slows down here. It's probably gonna be like a negative 750. Okay, now that's a 10.4 <laughs> and a negative 750. 10.4 and negative 750 pH. So now I'm just going to fill these up, starting with the mason jar. This one uh, stores, things, stores the water pretty well. Now when I'm filling it up, when you fill, when you fill up any container and you want to store the ionized water as long as possible, you want to overfill it and so that you don't have an air bubble. Um, so overfill it and then put the cap on so that there's no air bubble. Or, and you want the least amount of air possible to be in there if you have to have an air bubble. Because the air will affect the ORP. So this is over full. Now I'm going to put this cap on to seal it. So I overfilled it and it's that's why my hand's all wet there. Okay, now I'm going to fill up this glass bottle. Now this one I think isn't going to store it as well because the cap is not as, it doesn't seal as well as the mason jar. But glass does store it better than plastic. Um, anyway, I'm probably not going to fill all of these up on the video. Um, some of these bottles are big <laughs> and it's taken a while to fill. Alright, so this one's almost full. I did an experiment with the um, the glass or with some of these bottles recently, and I um, did it had them sit there for a full day, and so I'll put those results up on the on the website. But this for for this experiment, I'm going to just have them sit out for like an hour, 
and then I'll test it after an hour of being stored and see what the results are. bottle that I'm filling up right now. show you what I mean by over full. It's like kind of just bubbling over the top and you'll have a little runoff when you screw it on. If you don't want to finish watching the, bit, the rest of this video, I'm just going to keep on filling these up until it's done. We have three more, two and a half left to go. But And then I'm going to video, after an hour of waiting, the um, pH and RP of each one. And we'll see what the results are.
and now they're all full and uh, we'll come back in an hour.